Hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing extremely fine my name is prince and you are watching that extreme in this video i am going to show you what's new in the second stable build of oxygen os 12 for oneplus 8 series and oneplus 9r so without wasting any more time let's get started so oneplus recently released an update to the stable oxygen os 12 for the oneplus 8 series and oneplus 9r If we go into the about info section, you can see that the build number is C.21 and the build number for 8 and 8 Pro will be C.15. Also, you can see that the Android security patch is till 5th March 2022 and the April security patch has not been released. You can install it directly using the local upgrade method. In this video, I am not going to show you how to update or install this build of Oxygen OS 12. For that, you can check out the video in the i button. Moving on, let's run some benchmarks on this build. In Geekbench, the device scores 897 in single core and 2996 in multi core. And in N2 Do, the device scores 637000. Note that these scores are without high performance mode. If I turn on the high performance mode, in Geekbench, the device scores 906 in the single core and 3040 in multi core. And in N2 Do, the device scores 687000. The scores without high performance mode decreased a bit but with high performance mode they were back to normal. Now if we take a look at the change log of this build most of the changes are related to system and optimization. The first change log is optimize the charging speed in some scenarios and honestly I didn't face any charging issues on my device but some users in the Telegram group reported slow charging speeds and I hope the issue gets resolved with this fix. The next change log is optimize the communication stability when making a phone call and again I didn't face any problem regarding call on my phone. Moving on, the next fix is the occasional issue that some people were not able to use face unlock and even I faced some issues where the face unlocks didn't work properly sometimes but after this update face unlock works every time without any hassle. The next change log is regarding the issue of abnormal display when enabling applications in some scenarios and overall system stability. And finally, the last change log is regarding the camera application and the abnormal notification issue of camera is running has now been fixed. I didn't face this issue on my device but it has now been fixed. So those were all the major changes and fixes done in this build. It was a small update and was directed more towards system stability and optimization. Till now I have not faced any major bugs on this build but I'll keep using it for a week or so to make a full and complete review. Comment down if you are facing any issues with this build or if you want an installation video. That's all for this video. Subscribe to the channel for more tech videos. Thank you for watching.